Hi guys, welcome back. So who is the greatest Six Nations nation of all time? Now, we've had over two decades of data. I thought now's a decent time to actually make a stab at this, but it was more complicated than I thought. Now, obviously the greatest is a subjective call, but we've got some objective data to look at. And I'm gonna show you some of the measures I've used to try and decide. Um, and I want you guys to make your decisions as well and let me know who you think is the greatest, but have a look at uh, the measures I've come up with. So, number one, obvious one, number of championships. Who's won the most championships? So here it is, England seven, France five, although they haven't won since 2010. I don't know if that's relevant. Uh, Wales five, Ireland four, and then Scotland and Italy are both zero. Uh, now, before I talk about that, I think Grand Slams is also a decent indicator of greatness as well. So here's measure two, Grand Slams. Wales top with four, then France with three, Ireland with two, England with two, and of course Scotland and Italy with zero because they haven't won the championship. So measures one and two, you know, might put England, France, Wales on top. I mean, England have got the most wins, but then only two Grand Slams from seven wins. So is that measuring greatness or not? I don't know, maybe a bit disappointing. Um, Wales winning the Grand Slam 80% of the time. I mean, that's impressive, I think. Um, France, no wins since 2010. They're probably coming back now, but does the recency of a, a win actually mean anything when we're looking at the whole Six Nations? I don't know. So a couple of countries in the running there from the first two kind of crude measures, if you like, but maybe they are the only measures for you. But measure three, I think is actually quite important. Uh, average win. So in each championship, how many games does the nation actually win? So throughout the whole of the Six Nations, every single Six Nations, maybe this gives a good in indicator of how good they are. Does that equate to greatness? Uh, let me know. So here's measure three. So England on 3.5, Ireland 3.3, France 3.1, then Wales 2.8, Scotland dropping down a bit there, 1.5, Italy 0 0.6. Now, it's quite a telling stat, I think. Uh, England just on top, but Fairly big surprise for Ireland to outperform France. I mean, that's impressive on wins every championship. Maybe Ireland then should have won more championships, you could say. Um, equally interesting is Wales only averaging 2.8 wins, but still picking up five championships and four Grand Slams. Is that a positive? Is that a negative? I mean, you tell me. Scotland under 1.5 wins a championship is, is lower than I thought it would be, so it may be a little disappointing, actually. And Italy, less than a winner championship is poor. I mean, they'd actually won 12 games in the Six Nations, which is actually more than I thought they had, uh, but it still comes in a, a under a win a championship, and, and they've got zero wins for the last five years, so that is particularly disappointing. Now, at this point, I kind of went off at a bit of a tangent, thinking about coaches, and I was thinking, well, who's the most successful coach of all time? Uh, just as a bit of interest, and I was thinking, well, it's probably either Gatland or Schmidt uh, for Wales and Ireland, respectively. But, you know, as an England fan, I thought, well, I'll put the English coach in, coaches in there as well to kind of, you know, counteract their, counteract them, uh, a little bit of a measure. And, uh, or some of the England coaches, I should say. So here's four I looked at. And interestingly, actually, it's not what I was expecting. Lancaster comes out on top. Um with wins per championship, then Jones just above Gatland and Smith who are actually level. So I don't know if that means anything about greatness, but I thought that was just an interesting little stat that popped out there um, as I was doing this. So those were kind of the absolute numbers, but then I thought, well, hang on, surely smaller nations doing well is better than a bigger nation doing well. If you have a, a large number of players at the bottom, you should have a larger number of players at the top to pick from, and therefore you should have a better team and you should do better. So I weighted it by registered players, and then I compared it to the number of wins, and I weighted it that way. Now, obviously, you're going to come up with a number of wins that you couldn't get in a championship, but of course, it's all relative, so you can actually compare it. So, I mean, here are the number of registered players, and France are miles out on top. So I gave them a, a rating of one, a weighting of one even. Uh, England then second, actually quite a long way behind France. Then it's a big drop-off. Ireland with over 100,000 players, 
then Italy actually have a lot of registered players, more than Wales and Scotland. So Italy and Wales, similar, but then Scotland, quite a long way, um, the least number of registered players, which is quite interesting. So I, I weighted them accordingly there, and here are the results. So actually, Wales came out on top of the number of weighted wins. Now, don't worry about the number, that's just arbitrary for comparison, but you've got three countries out on top there. Wales, Ireland, Scotland, then a big drop off to England, and then Italy actually coming in over France. So this really turns things on its head. It's a bit confusing, if you like. And it doesn't look like certain countries are actually fulfilling their potential. Maybe England and France should have won a lot more. And Italy actually have a decent player base. Maybe they should be doing a fair bit better, winning more games. So anyway, so maybe it's the kick up the backside for England and France. And, you know, the three Celtic Clark countries doing really, really well there with Wales coming out on top and Scotland doing a lot better in this measure. So anyway, guys, I'll just pop up all the ways I try to measure greatness there. Who is the best team? I don't know. England maybe for absolutes, Wales for punching above their weight potentially, maybe it's Ireland because they've done pretty well on some of those measures, uh, or maybe you think it's, it's France for certain reasons or any reason to be honest, let me know who do you think is the greatest and which of these stats do you think is the most important when trying to calculate that. You know, at the end of the day, I am completely stumped. I thought I'd have an answer for you, but I don't. Is that waiting a good idea? Um, anyway, guys, love to know your thoughts on that. Who's the greatest Six Nations nation of all time? And I will catch you later.